Hey Sagittarius, this is Alex Angel. Happy birthday to you guys. I hope you all are doing well. I am here to bring you your first half of December 2019 Angel and Tarot card readings. I have shuffled and laid them out and meditated and did all of that good stuff. So let's get started. Uh, the first card up is the strength with the answered prayer. Um, it, this feels like some of you guys are going through it. You know, this feels like some of you guys are on your knees. You're at your wit's end. Um, some of you guys could also be depressed as well. You know, not necessarily seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, which, you know, is weird, especially since, you know, you're in your first house of your sun sign. Sun meaning, you know, illumination and, um, you know, being the very Sagittarians that you are. Um, and so I hear some of you like, no, it's been hard. It's been rough. Um, I feel like a weight and I also feel like a burden, right? Um, I hear some of you saying, I just want to love and be loved. I don't know why I have to go through all of this. Um, and when you look at especially that strength card, we know strength um, represents tenderness and love versus brute force. Uh, this also says to me that I feel like for some of you, you guys are asking God, angels, and or the universe to help you kind of balance those two out. I feel like for some of you, you have been in like this tug of war or this fight of your life. Not necessarily sure if it's a custody battle or a court situation, but it's almost like you're lo looking or wanting for like a peaceful resolution. Okay. Um, so let's see what the rest of your cards have for you. I didn't want to like, you know, predict anything. And then the cards makes me look, you know, crazy or weird. But um, what I'm also hearing too is kind of like, take your time. Um, we know it's been a hard, long road. Uh, the victory has already always been inside of you. I feel like for a lot of you, emotionally, you are down and out or down in the dumps. And this is going to sound weird and crazy because that's what I actually feel like is bringing you down more so, say, for instance, than the actual situation that you may be in. OK, so it's your mind and how you're looking at things versus what's really happening and what's going on. And it's weird that I say that because the Hermit card with also the Dreams card um, says, you know, this is nothing but mental energy. This is subconscious. This is conscious, right? The hermit is somebody who tucks himself away to just mull over, go over, go over again, go over some more, a situation that happens. What I'm also hearing too, is that this card to me represents your inability to let things go, right? So, uh, it feels like, say, for instance, you guys may be in a position where you did not receive closure, okay? And you're kind of maybe, you know, stuck in this loop or stuck in this position of going over it over and over to see what I done diff what I did differently, to see if this happened, to see if the be betrayal was this flavor or was it this flavor, right? Um, they're showing also, too, the two different dimensions of the mind. Right. One where, say, for instance, you're controlling it and then the subconscious where the subconscious is controlling it as well. I kind of feel like to an extent you guys could also be looping back from one side to the other, just kind of going over it over and over. And I apologize. Even I'm sounding like a broken record, you know, talking about the same thing. I do kind of feel like this is also representing rest, you know, give your mind a rest, take time out to rest. Um, it, it just kind of feels like there's this broken heart that's present or there's like this sorrow that's present and you guys are not understanding why. Okay. Page of Pentacles with Harmony. Um, this says to me basically that you, it'll make sense. 
right? That's exactly what I'm getting. It doesn't make sense now because there is this air of emotion that's that you are bringing to the situation that's preventing you from seeing the clear picture of this scenario. But once you actually remove that, I do kind of feel like you will receive information and offer clarification opportunities to see the situation from a different angle from a different perspective and when you actually do that that will bring things back into a, a balance and bring things back or bring harmony back to the situation what i'm also hearing is that you guys have to let go of the emotional connection to whatever this situation is that's causing you know, this energy uh, about you, um, you guys pretty much have to kind of let that go. And then the universe, this other person, this other party comes in and just clarifies it like crazy. Okay. What I'm also getting to is I hear some of you saying, well, that's the problem. I don't know how to let it go. Um, give it to God and then let it go. Because I do kind of feel like um, your prayer is about to be answered not only that but I love it because what I just received was that the answer that you receive will be satisfactory right meaning that it will do what it's supposed to do okay next card is a six of pentacles and also healing and it's crazy because that's what I just said uh, you will receive what you're supposed to receive and it will settle your heart. What I'm getting also is whatever the situation is, Sagittarius, it was like a big misunderstanding. What I'm also getting is that it kind of quote unquote caught you off guard and the way in which that it caught you off guard, it kind of quote unquote brought you to your emotional knee, knees, right? Um, that is actually, was actually supposed to happen it's a part of your evolution. Now, I'm not sitting here saying that, yeah, the universe meant to hurt you. Um, the universe always means to teach you. And unfortunately, pain comes along with those teachings. But the beautiful thing is the worst is over. Clarification is coming, um, if not already here. Not only that, but it'll be exactly what you need for it to do. It will nourish you. Angels are saying to me, you will discover that it wasn't that bad in the first place. Um, I do kind of get again that it, you know, not to sound like a broken record, but you got inside your head and that's where it kind of ran amok. Okay. But healing is coming. Satisfaction is coming. Um, uh, balance will be restored and you can get back into, um, this is going to sound so corny, but it's almost like you can get back into the business of life, right? I do kind of feel like uh, angels, God, and uh, universe is going to come along and they're just going to settle and satisfy everything, like almost like it never happened. Okay, the last cards in your spread are the King of Wands and listening, right? Uh, I kind of feel like this is who you have been or this is the reason why things kind of happened the way that they did because you were very strong-minded or pig-headed or, you know, running with scissors, was not paying attention, you know, not listening to the signs and you just felt like you had it, but you didn't have it, but you thought you did. And then boom, you got laid flat on your, your bum, okay? So in the future, this is a representative and a reminder, right? It's okay It's okay to have that power, that enthusiasm, that drive. But boo-boo, ain't none of us, not one of us, not none of us. I know that's not proper English. But not none of us are in control, okay? So this is a partnership. So I don't care who you are, how strong you are, how badass you think you are. God is in control and whatever God says goes. Okay, I do kind of feel like, uh, again, um, this was a mistake made, made because you weren't listening to your gut, listening to your intuition, listening to that voice within. 
but the beautiful thing, Sagittarius, and what you must take away from this message is here is exactly how not to do that again, how not to be in that position again. And that is exactly what the universe's lesson to you was, because I do kind of feel like for some of you, that's a lesson you guys have been failing over and over and over and over, okay? So, um, when I'm going back and I'm thinking about the um, strength card with the tenderness over brute force, again, that's the king of wands with the brute force and um, the tenderness and the humbleness of the situation. Um, maybe that's kind of like the message, message here for you, Sagittarius, is to learn how to humble yourself more. Um, I, I apologize, but it's what's coming to me. Or angels are saying, or you will be laid flat on your emotional ass. Okay? Um, so hopefully that helps, right? You know, I'm the type of person, whereas I don't want to keep making the same mistakes over and over. So if I got to experience this hurt, this good, good hurt this last time, as long as it's enough for me not to do this again, it was worth it. Okay, so hopefully you guys see that um, the same way as well. Truth and integrity and then the Ace of Cups are at the bottom of each deck. I love this for you, um, Sagittarius, because it says, now that you know, <laughs> now that you remember, now you understand who you got to be, how you got to act, how you got to be. The universe will bless you with love again, okay? New love is on its way. New love, new affection, um, new romance. And, and I'm feeling this, not just with this card, but I'm basing this also too on what I am feeling. Your heart will have a chance to smile again, to be happy again, to roll around, you know, to be playful again. You will have that opportunity. Just please, 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 please keep this in mind. Like, you know, that humbleness, that whole, you know what? Yeah, you know, I like her. I love him. You're going to be my girl. You're going to be my wife. We're going to take over the world. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. We're going to do like a bunch of things. It's, it's fine. It's wonderful to think, feel, and believe that. But check in with God. Check in with them angels. Check in with them guides because... They will give you the roadmap to how to get there. But if you think you're too good to check in, God going to show you. God going to show you who he is, right? So again, I feel like for you, Sagittarian, that's exactly your message. Um, we're only one half, right? It's one half human, one half spirit. That part that is spirit is God, okay? Um, what I'm also getting for you guys in closing is that you will have what you want. You absolutely will. I mean, that's what creation is. I mean, that's that's the very thing that keeps this universe expanding and growing, even if scientists don't know what's making it expand and grow, is our energy. Our energy and creation and creating new things and creating new energy. That's what's all making this universe expand. And us little, 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 tiny, tiny, uh, dust particles uh, of the universe are helping to make that change and, and create that expansion, okay? So just remember for you, Sagittarian, um, one part human, one part spirit. Can't have one without the other. All right, guys, again, happy birthday, and please feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys for the second half of December. Take care.